Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at top reasons why we are getting P0171 and P0174 lean code. Code P0171 indicates lean air fuel mixture. P0174 also indicates lean air fuel mixture. But what is the difference between these two? P0171 indicates bank one of the engine has a lean fuel mixture whereas P0174 indicates bank 2 of the engine has a lean mixture. Basically, P0171 code points to the engine side with the cylinder number 1, while P0174 points to the cylinders other than the side of cylinder number 1 on V6 or V8 engine. If your engine has a 4 or 6 cylinder in line, then most likely you will be receiving only P0171 code. However, some new vehicle models the computer treats the engine as two separate banks when generating error codes. Even if it is configured as an inline engine, there are models where engines are divided into two separate banks. For example, in a four-cylinder engine, bank one represents cylinder number one and cylinder number two, while bank two represents cylinder number three and cylinder number four. Now, how do these signals get generated? P0171 is triggered by the engine upstream oxygen sensor. Same thing is true for P0174. Upstream sensors are those sensors which are closer to the engine and before the catalytic converter. Now, the oxygen sensor alerts our system when the condition is too lean, which means when there is too much oxygen in the exhaust. These upstream sensors verify if there is correct air-fuel ratio or not by measuring the oxygen level inside the exhaust gases. This is done by continual but changing voltage signal to the computer. Now, continuously high voltage reading indicates rich air fuel mixture, which means there is less oxygen, but a continuously low voltage reading sent to the computer from an oxygen sensor indicates too much oxygen is available, which means lean air fuel mixture is happening. When performing check to figure out what is causing P0171, it is important to make a complete diagnostic. Otherwise, many people will replace the air fuel sensor or the oxygen sensor as soon as they get P0171. But it could be something else causing this error code. It could be a dirty or faulty mass air fuel sensor, or it could be a vacuum leak somewhere. Therefore, before changing the oxygen sensor, we have to go through some procedure in order to figure out what is exactly causing P0171 error code. Lean conditions are often caused by air entering the system somewhere where it, it cannot be monitored. The two main areas this would happen are usually after the mass air flow sensor or a vacuum leak somewhere inside the intake. Then, in order to figure out what is causing this, start by checking the intake boot from the MAF sensor to the throttle body and inspect if there are cracks, if there are loose hoses, if there are untied clamps or anywhere if there could be some breakages there. Check also the overall vacuum hoses of the engine for cracks and breaks. While the engine is running, listen carefully as often you can hear a major vacuum leak from the sound of air being sucked through the brake. And the other thing we can do is check if there is a problem with the PCV system hoses or if there are cracks and leaks as well. A, a vacuum leak due to failed intake manifold or throttle body casket can also lead to lean condition. Another possible issue is improper fueling, which means when there is a problem with the fuel supply. When there is less fuel supplied to the engine and when there is excess air available, that can lead to lean mixture. This can potentially be caused by a fuel pressure regulator problem, clogged fuel pump strainer, weak fuel pump, or blocked fuel filter. All this can lead to problem of lean condition. And if there is a problem with the fuel injectors, if somehow the electrical resistance to the fuel injector is extremely high, and if the magnetism is not opening the fuel injectors as much as required, that could lead to various light fuel getting injected into the cylinder and that will also cause a lean condition. If there is a problem with the MAF sensor, if it is dirty or if it is contaminated with engine oil or some other foreign material, it will transfer incorrect signal to the computer and that will lead to lean condition. This is particularly true if we are using oiled 
air filters that have too much oil on them. This causes contaminants to cling on the mass airflow sensor and uh, that will cause wrong reading to the computer. That can be corrected by cleaning the MAF sensor with a MAF cleaner spray. Now there are lots of problems causing lean air fuel mixture condition. Now basically what we have to look for is if there are things that are restricting fuel supply or if there are systems that are introducing additional unmetered air into the engine. So those are the main causes leading to lean condition. This can be, as mentioned earlier, this can be as a result of inaccurate information from the MAF sensor, if it is dirty or if it is contaminated, or if there is some leakage after the air cleaner or even within the air cleaner itself, if there is clogged fuel filter causing restriction to the fuel supply, if there is a problem with the fuel pump, if worn fuel pump can provide very little fuel pressure and that will cause only a small amount of fuel to be injected into the cylinder leading to lean condition. If there are problems with the fuel injectors, if they are dirty or if they are plugged, if they are somehow restricted, and if there is a problem with the electrical wiring of the fuel injectors, if there is too much resistance on the coil or in the wiring bringing power to the fuel injectors, that could also prevent the fuel injector nozzles from opening to the maximum and that will restrict fuel flow into the cylinder. The other thing, as we have mentioned in real, if there is a problem with the positive crankcase ventilation system, if the tubes and piping that are connected to the PCV valve have leakage, they will introduce additional air into the system that will cause lean fuel condition. If there is a problem with the fuel pressure regulator, fuel pressure regulator is there to monitor the amount of fuel pressure available in the rail and if there is a problem with that, that is not metered, that is not regulated and that can also lead to a lean condition. Clogged or dirty fuel injectors, inlet screen, fuel injector, electrical circuit problems, vacuum leaks, if there are problems with exhaust gas recirculation system issues, oxygen sensor problems, all this can cause lean condition. Although it is less common, a problem in the power control module or the PCM can also cause lean condition. The car's computer, if it is in trouble, if there is a failed software or if it needs update, that can also cause lean condition in a very small cases. So whenever you get P0171 and P0174, don't rush to replacing the oxygen sensor. It may have been an oxygen sensor problem or it could be caused by any of the above mentioned problems. And basically, it could be caused by problem at the mass airflow sensor or it could be caused by a vacuum leak somewhere in the system. So before you start any test, make sure that all the lines and ducts and vacuum hoses are properly connected and make sure there are no breaks or loose parts that are not properly connected and make sure that all the hose clamps are tight so that you can make sure that there is no vacuum leak. Look for damaged or cut vacuum hoses and inspect for any vacuum leaks and that can clearly indicate the trouble code source. Also not too common, an EGR valve can also be the source of a lean condition. Check for loose mounting bolts or damaged gasket under the valve. On some Ford vehicles, a delta pressure feedback EGR sensor may develop too much corrosion to the point of failure and then the ECU ends up opening the EGR valve too long causing a lean condition. And inspect the exhaust system for leaks between the engine and the auto sensor as well. Idle the engine and then increase engine speed slightly while paying attention to sounds or smoke coming from the gasket area, pipe connection or anywhere between the engine and the catalytic converter. If there are leakage, that can also cause a lean mixture condition. The other thing that we need to do is inspect vacuum lines. Inspect all vacuum lines and hoses for leaks and make sure that they are properly connected. If there is a leak, you will hear a hissing sound, so it may be difficult to hear with engine running. The other thing we have to do is to figure out whether the MAF airflow sensor is working properly or not. Remove the mass airflow sensor and clean the sensor using mass airflow sensor cleaner. Don't forget to inspect the exhaust system as well. Check the exhaust system components for leak before the air fuel ratio sensor or before the oxygen sensor. If you find any leak, then have it repaired. Exhaust leak can usually be spotted visually by buildup of soot in the general vicinity of the leak. Also, don't forget to check the fuel pressure. 
Low fuel pressure can throw off the air-fuel mixture ratio and this could be caused by anything from a fuel injector problem and a fuel pressure regulator to the fuel pump itself. A stack open PCV valve or torn hose in the positive crankcase ventilation system can also lead to a lean air-fuel ratio and this can cause rough idle and stalling problems. So make sure to check the PCV system as well. When having P0171 and P0174 problems, in many instances, engine performance issues are not exhibited. However, some lane situations can cause your vehicle to have problems with the performance. It could cause engine surging, it could cause acceleration problem or misfiring engine, it could cause spark knock or detonation, it can also reduce engine power. You might face hard starting and you might have increased fuel consumption. So these are some of the performance related issues associated with lean mixture. So more commonly, however, you will only be alerted the presence of this problem by an illuminated check engine light. And once you scan your engine with an OBD2 scanner, it will figure out that there is a problem with lean mixture situations that will be displayed as P0171 and P0174. So dear viewers, those are some of the top causes why our engine is providing P0171 or P0174 lean code. That is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.